which for this car was very, uh, in them days was very unique, you know, it's like, wow, <laughs> which is really light. But this is a, uh, you can definitely feel the weight. <laughs> it's a heavier car. This car seems to be a lot easier to drive, it's comfortable, um, the brakes are really good, designed for saving money I guess, but keeping the occupants happy and safe. Yeah. Uh, I do like this car because it's um, saving on fuel, that's a very very good point especially today. Uh, it's safe, it's one of the safest cars to be able to make. Um, you know, it, it's a day-to-day -day practical car. Unlike the 65 Thunderbird, it's, it's uh, meant for uh, driving around, not daily, but this is a daily car. Uh, this one's really easy to drive. It's not as, uh, you, you know, you can't go into a corner as fast as like you could do with one of these. Um, other thing is, is that it's uh, a lot heavier car compared to this. This is almost a quarter of the weight of, of the Thunderbird. What I do like is the heads-up display on the windscreen. I think that's a very, very good invention. Yeah, I think this fourth generation Prius, they, they've sorted out a lot of... The other, the other Priuses had a bit of roll on the body. This one's pretty firm, it's nice. Very quiet. You can hear a pin drop. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice, comfortable car, uh, economical fuel saving, um, it's the kind of car that appeals to everybody really.